Hello everyone, my name is Siddhartha Deja. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, today we will discuss about Boolean algebra, in which combinational circuit and their properties. So, topics to be covered in this video are Boolean algebra, Boolean algebra operations, properties of Boolean algebra, and combinational circuits. So, what is Boolean algebra? Boolean algebra is a type of algebra that is created by operating the binary system. In the year 1854, George Boolean and English mathematician proposed this algebra. And in this we use 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, false as a symbol. Boolean algebra is concerned with the binary variables and logic operations. Boolean algebra is fundamental in the development of digital electronics also. And uh, it is also used in set theory, statistics and many other cases. So, the next topic is Boolean algebra operations. So, what is Boolean algebra operations? So, there are three basic operators which is used in Boolean algebra operations. First is AND operator, second is OR operator and third is NOT operator. So, what is AND operator? AND operator is analogous to conjunction and it uses DOT as a symbol which is also known as multiplication. And OR operator, the operator is equivalent to disjunction and it uses plus operation and by this uh, we can add the binaries and not operator. Not operator is the operator which do the inverse of the output. So the next topic is properties of Boolean algebra. So what are, what are the properties of Boolean algebra? First is annulment law. If a variable is ended with 0, give 0. While a variable is odd with 1, gives 1. As you can see here, a dot 0 is equal to 0 and a plus 1 is equal to 1. Next law is identity law. In this law, variables remain unchanged. It is odd or ended with 1. So as you can see here, a dot 1 is equal to 1 and a plus 0 is equal to 10. Next law is uh, so next law is eigenmodulate law. So this law is said when the variable remains unchanged when it is odd or end with itself. As you can see here, a plus is equal to a and a dot a is also equal to a. So next law is complement law. In this law, if a complement is added to a variable, it gives 1. If a variable is multiplied, when it is complemented, then it results in 0. It means that, that if you add a, a plus a complement, then it gives 1. And if you multiply the complement with the variable, a dot a complement, then it gives 0. Next property is, so what is community law? A variable order does not matter in this law. That is, it states that if a plus b, which equals to b plus a and it will do a dot b, then it equals to b dot a. Next law is associative law. In this law, the order of the operation does not matter if the priority of variables are same like multiply and divide. As you can see here, a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c. And a dot b dot c equals to a dot b dot c. What is distributive law? This law governs the operating law of the bracket. Which states that if you do a dot b plus c, which equals to a dot b plus a dot c. And another example is also there, a dot a plus b dot a plus c, which equals a plus b dot c. So, next property is the model law. This is very important law in our syllabus. The operation of an and or all logic circuit is unchanged if all inputs are inverted. And the operator is changed from end to all and the output is inverted. This is very complicated, so I have simple it. A dot B whole complement which equals A complement plus B complement and A plus B whole complement which gives A complement or B complement. So next topic is combination circuits. So what are combination circuits? Combination circuits are especially designed using multiple interconnected logic gates such that the output will be generated by computing the logical combination of the present input only. And it is also the combinations of the logic gates. And the output is independent of previous states. So, so features of combination circuits. In this, output depends only upon present inputs. Its, its speed is fast, easy design, and its time is independent. So, so the next we have to discuss some combination circuits. In which first is half adder. Half adder is a combination logic circuit with two inputs and two outputs. The half adder circuit is designed to add two single bit binary number A and B. As you can see here, this is the diagram of half adder. 
in which two inputs are there a and b and two outputs sum as and carry c which first is do the sum of the inputs and carry gives the required scale and this is the truth table and as you can see here it is the boolean diagram of how this next is full level full level is developed to overcome the drawbacks of arbitrary circuit it can be two bit one bit number a and b and carry c the full header is a three input and two output combination circuit as you can see here this is a diagram of full header which is which has three inputs two are a and b and one is c which is also known as k and two outputs are k this is the truth table and this is a boolean diagram of full header next is the half circuit half circuit is a combination circuit with two inputs and two outputs difference and both it produces a difference between the two binary bits as the input and also produces an output which is also known as pole to indicate if a one has been mono and it is also called minor as you see here this is the diagram of half subtractor which has two inputs a and b and two outputs one is difference and one is pole this is the truth table and this is the boolean diagram of half half So the next is full subtractor. The disadvantage of subtractor, half subtractor is overcome by full subtractor. The full subtractor is a combination circuit with three inputs A, B, C, and two outputs D and C dash. A, which is mono, and B, which is subtractor. C is the mono produced by the previous stage, and D is the difference output, and C dash is the pole output. As you can see here, this is the diagram of full subtractor in which there are two inputs A and B and one mono A and in output there are two outputs. First is difference, second is mono. As you can see here, this is the truth table of full subtractor and this is the Boolean diagram of full subtractor. So thank you for watching my video and please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.